Well, as you can see, things aren't really working out the way they're supposed to. Winter's come back, so I was gonna park the Jeep out of the back of the garage. Door open, do it, it's not gonna happen. I'm gonna start roofing soon. Got the shingles. So one thing I didn't think of when I bought this house is that when it comes to re-shingle a bi-level because the house is long but not tall, uh, the roof is about twice the size as the two-story homes around me, which means twice the price. I didn't think about that when I bought the house. I was thinking about, okay, it's a small house. It's got a garage. I never ever thought that I'd be doing YouTube videos and building stuff out of my garage. I never thought about that back then. Actually, YouTube, I don't think it was even really a thing there, but now I gotta get the Jeep TJ out of the garage, bring the JK in. As you guys know, last week I picked up a radiator, serpentine belt, um, wipers, new windshields, both the Jeeps, parts have been starting to come in. Got new Terraflex ball joints, cruise control switch, thermostat, water pump should be in today. Steve brought me these things. These are the, the tools for the steering and that, extra parts, airline for the air lockers. I still need to get an air compressor. There's going to be quite a bit of content on the JK for the next little bit until I get everything set up where all the uh, deficiencies are fixed and we'll continue working on the TJ then. But, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get a vehicle swap here. Yeah, just when you thought winter was over, comes back with a vengeance. Well, not really a vengeance. Not to piss you off. I don't think I remember ever a time where this windshield wasn't cracked fire this baby up oh yeah the sound of the LS baby all right we'll get the JK in and then turn up the heat and I love the JK cell point stereo is uh, oh, I noticed that button sticking for the navigation She's tight, but we fit. I still got some room I can work with. And if I had to, yeah, I could do the ball joints like this too. I could do one side and then back the Jeep up and bring it at an angle to do the other side. So I think that's my, what I have to do. Getting the furnace fired up, go run some errands, come back. Let the project begin. This transfer case is definitely a lot more quieter now. I'm glad that issue is finally over with and solved. All right, garage is heated up. Floor is a little wet though, but now I'll be crawling around on the floor. Picked up some more things gonna do. Transmission filter kit. Got the coolant. Some people are probably going to wonder why I got a Dexcool GM. If you look at the back, it says Chrysler from 2013 onward. I usually like to pick up this OEM type coolant. And I found it kind of bizarre when I went to... Um, look up the coolant for the jeep because they actually have one it is for jeeps but it's actually for older jeeps and then if you want to use it on the newer ones um you got to get the the orange for the chevy because it's rated um for the same for the older jeep so i've been using prestone for years so never had an issue just going to continue on with that but uh let's see how much of a headache this is going to be If it's better, if I can just fold this whole hood back. 
There we go. So there's gonna be lots of things to go over tracing wires like this. I don't like the wires without any kind of covering on them, protection. And then figuring out where a lot of those wires go, what they're hooked up with. And then on the engine harness, I don't like the bare wires there. So gonna have to loom all those up for protection. Go over everything. And it looks like the alternator clip had been broken once because it was zip tied there. But uh, this is good. This is good. New project, all new content. So you can see underneath the radiator, it's very evident where our leak is coming from now. It's like it's splitting from the side. So now I got my hose in my bucket and now it's try to get behind there and turn it it's now with the front grill off I can reach in and crack that open I'm telling you this thing wants to fight me to the end Now the AC hard line is right down there. So I think if I remove this and try to get the horn out of the way, that might help. So try to get that bolt out. That's what I did. Straight in through the headlight. You don't actually need to remove that. But I found this is a Probably the only way, and then still gotta do the transmission line. It looks like it's in the open right there, so I should be good. All right, this is where the fun begins to move the transmission cooler. Two bolts there, one right there. Should be able to pull this back enough, and then disconnect the. AC condenser. This is where the flex head ratchet is going to come in easy or easier. I can get inside there. Man, these clips. Don't want to come out too well, that's for sure. So we pretty much got everything off the front. The line's off the side. Hopefully there's no more magic. Things are gonna get in our way. So now, go ahead and start removing upper, lower radiator hoses. An inspection. Do I need to? No, it's just a I thought it was bulging. But tools for this. These radiator picks work really good. None damaging. But sometimes you get into a pinch and you need to use these sharper ones. Hopefully not. There's a special tool for these clips. Of course. I don't have it, so we're going to use these and curse and swear. Well, let's let the magic out, see what's going to happen. Actually, hose and everything is going to come off with this, but... That's actually coming off really good. Come on. There you go. There you go. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, of course you gotta pee out. You gotta puke out. Perfect. 
Man, I don't know. Is that going to stop now? Or is it going to keep on going? Jeez. This way, I can replace as much coolant as possible. I'm going to be able to maybe I'll wipe this hose off first. There we go. Now we're coming. Coming around the mountain when we come. Now with everything removed, pay close attention to the AC lines. Like I said, less I left something in, I should be able to pull the radiator and fan out in one. I should, in theory. Definitely the AC lines. Probably also. Uh, trying to get the compressor. There's also, also one more wire attached. I think, I think we got her now. All right, it is out. Radiator is out. Cooling system will be completely overhauled. Hopefully, by the time this video ends, it's always hard as doing something for the first time. This JK is new to me, so it's all new challenges. TJ was definitely a lot simpler to work on. Trying to get that radiator out, all those little bolts and those little small awkward spots. After you do it a few times, you will develop a trick. Someone had already been in there and one bolt didn't go back in and the um, fan wiring lock is broken. Have to try to rig something up with that, but uh, yeah, that part's done. Still gotta do the thermostat. Um, pulleys. Check the pulleys regrease them while we have everything apart, if possible. Water pump supposed to be coming in tonight. Yeah. Lots of content for you guys. Was supposed to have a fire tonight with Fedora, but he says he's a little injured. But looking at that water pump, it looks like the alternator probably has to come off as well. Hopefully, uh hopefully those bearings and those idler pulleys can be serviced. He said the belt is cracked, but doesn't, uh, that's what I can see. Oh, uh, yeah, it is all cracked up, dude. It is all cracked up. Looks like somebody was scraping around and some stuff down there. Hydraulic tensioner. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, Amazon came, dropped off my water pump, so I got all the parts I need. This was actually the same price off Rock Auto, except Amazon was free shipping. Took three days, had shipped up from the States. This in Canada was double at the parts store for the same water pump. That's why I got it off Amazon. Man, this is going to be a good project. Now it's time to get back to work. Need to pull the alternator off to get at the water pump, do the thermostat all at once. I'm just, 
are just mind blown. Like, I don't know if people don't know how these red locks work on electrical connections, but every red lock is broken on this wiring harness. It just baffles me. I don't know. I got quite the mess here to clean up. But what we're going to do is pull the belt off. Going to disconnect the negative on the battery. And then get the alternator up out of the way. Pull the water pump out. Put the thermostat housing in. Put the radiator back in. I don't know what's going on with that, but I guess I'm going to pull okay except for that one there is part of it but this battery connector seems like it's i don't know what's going on with it i definitely need to check that out this is the problem when you deal with someone else's project it's like what the heck did these people do it'd be no different if someone bought my jeep and had a look at it and was trying to decide what the heck was I doing. But I need to figure out this. So, start it in there. Clockwise, you can see the hydraulic tensioner backing off. Get enough, pull it off power steering. And then you just let her back like that. So this seems pretty odd to me. Um, come down to this part here, and that's where the belt's stuck. Maybe there's an alternative way, but the alternator needs to come off for me anyway. So I'm gonna do the water pump. So I'm gonna pull this bolt, this bolt, and then these two, get it out. Negative battery's disconnected. I need to disconnect these terminals as well. Crazy. Get those ones are on there pretty Battery good. Battery was low, change it out. Yeah, makes a big difference. But I'm just, just gonna leave that in there. Nothing like trying to make a video and your camera decides it's going to somehow switch over to picture taking mode instead of video mode. I don't think I've ever had a camera in my life. Holy, how long is these bolts? Jeez, 10 miles long, really? Hoping they can be serviced. Well, it's looking good. It's looking like the seals can be accessed, which is a good sign. Would be easier to get from underneath, but. We're gonna be stuck with the bigger one. Longer the extension. Less torque you have. Get that hose out of the way, it's bugging me. Actually, this came off really easy. Now we wanna pay close attention to the gasket, the way it's set up. Take the sore excuse for a can of brake cleaner. Clean the gasket surfaces off. Some brake cleaner. All right, I want to carefully.
try to line this up and get it in. both sides because one is the cage one is the balls you can see those are dry give that a quick spray take my seals wipe them out Side that has the cage, put the seal back in that one. And then we're gonna fill the bearing full of grease, get a couple more years out of her. Perfect. And tight. Water pumps back on, tightened down, idler pulleys back in, fully greased. Time to feed the belt back in, put the alternator in place, and then we're going to bang off that thermostat. So now you can see. Got it fed loosely, so grab the alternator. And then as I put the alternator back in, I'm gonna try to feed the belt up up top, but leaving it off the power steering pulley. Uh, we'll see how this is going to be. That's for that bottom one. Carefully put the fittings back on. Gonna have to zip tie that down too. Got my zip tie fix. I'm sure there's probably a story behind why all the electrical connections seem to be broke off. Maybe taking them apart in cold weather perhaps. So there is gasket. I want to make sure you get that too. Now the new radiator comes with all your bushings. I'm going to do the fan last. It's much lighter to wiggle the radiator in by itself, and I'll deal with the fan afterwards. Try to get that in. We still get to run down to the parts store before they close. Plus, try to film content. Moving cameras around, batteries are dying. Yeah, so let's get this in. I do have some weird hair going from having the GoPro mount on. I don't know, it's kind of like funky horns or something. Uh, this is not gonna be a one shot deal, but we'll see. 
what we can transpire here. Try to try to get this down, 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 down. So I'm somewhat doing okay. I just gotta somehow bring this, these corners in, right? Because I'm not. Got the radiator set in place. Come over here, Amazon delivered. Got a couple of soft shackles. And this is um, a rear shelf. For the JK, because I'm going to put my Dometic cooler in there, and the air compressor is going to go in the back, and the shelf's going to be up top for storage, and then my tent and everything else will go into the side here. So it's definitely going to be nice traveling with the JK with a lot more room, but we still got a ways to go. We still got a ways to go. I need to shut her down. I need to run down to the parts store and get some more parts for tomorrow. I need to get ready because Fedora's come over for a fire. And then uh, we'll continue this video later. Doms, what are you doing? No, you're trying to avoid the camera. <laughs> are you? Are you up to no good? Are you smelling the takeout bag? And are you? What are you doing? Are you dumpster diving? Just what are you doing? There's nothing in there. You don't even like human food. Motherfucking beer time. Fedora should be over here pretty soon. Already got a couple cigars out for the evening. Uh, drinking some BC beer. Caribou Blonde. I like the Caribou Green better, but I'm not picky. This is the cheapest beer in the liquor store, so I picked some up. And by cheap, I mean 24 for 15 which is uh, quite a bit more expensive than what you guys would pay in America. But it is what it is. Got lots done on the Jeep. Still got lots more to do. Stay tuned. There's going to be lots more JK content. We got to get all the things fixed up before we can continue working on the TJ and get that axle built.